Yo, I, I, wa, gua. Tis your boy, Jadon, legendary. We back on the level 49 because it's been a hot minute. You know what I'm saying? Well, it actually ain't been that long, but it's been long enough that I want to get back on. It's been long enough. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell. Share with your people. Join the legendary clan. Support the channel. Become legendary. I upload all things Warcraft. Depends on what I feel like doing. Mostly PvP because that's dang near all I do. You know, with the time waves that's been going on and up and on, up and around and down and whatnot, you're probably going to see a video sometime in the future where I'm getting all my characters to level 70. I'm trying to get back into Dragonflight PvP. I did some recently on the Evoker, and it was a lot of good fun, all right? It was a lot of fun. Some dude was talking about everyone's quitting Dragonflight PvP. I'm like, I don't see why. This is beautiful. This is immaculate. I haven't played in months, and I'm pulling up on people and laying them down. And when they pull up on me, I'm laying them down. And my gear ain't even that good. Okay? I think. I'm not 100% sure. But, <laughs> you know, for not having played the Evoker in months, and it being such a brand new class, I was still able to come back and around up in town and fucking put down work. Okay? And that, to me, was beautiful. I haven't felt modern PvP like that since MOP. No, Warlords of Draenor, okay? Warlords of Draenor was the last time I felt modern PvP that immaculately clean and not feel like I'm uh, some busted form of, of the game like back in Legion when Raimundo had a 801 gear score. For those who don't remember, 801 is absolutely horrific. <laughs> that is a terrible item level. Did this man just rob me? 801 is a terrible item level to have at level 110, yet I would pull up in the BGs and absolutely crush people. Now, how does that make somebody feel who spent their lifetime farming their character up the whole of Legion just for this guy to come up out of nowhere with a fresh level 110 absolutely clobbering people? Now, one might say, uh, you know, you have the experience, and yes, that is very true, but at an 801 item level, under no circumstance should I be easily able to kill people uh, who <laughs> have way better gear. Okay. Now, to be fair, at that point of Legion, it wasn't like there was a dead time of playing Raimundo. Now, I was playing Raimundo quite a bit. So, my arms, uh, my I was still very on arms. Okay. Uh, arms was nothing new to me. You know what I'm saying? Nor has it been for the past freaking... 16 years at that point <laughs> so yes i had the experience but i had far from the gear and to me that was just absolutely ridiculous that i was able to put such a hurting on people with so little gear you know what i'm saying to me that just it just didn't seem right i'm about to get jumped i need to go oh shoot i didn't realize i still had what's name on me good but you know it was busted. Now that PvP, it felt like, you know, it felt kind of like Cataclysm PvP. Back when I used to farm hardcore for my gear set to get the best gear real fast as possible. But at any time I didn't, because <clears throat> I just either didn't have the time or didn't have the time for that character. It felt like back in the day when I was just really pulling up on anybody I wanted to and, and laying them down. You know what I'm saying? That's what it felt like. It was beautiful. Okay? It didn't feel... What the fuck? Fucking shamans. It didn't feel like, you know what I'm saying? I was trying my life. I was fighting for my life to get kills. Nah, if it... Ooh. My trinket. What? My freaking trinket just played me. Are you serious? My, my own trinket just sheeped me. God dog it. Somebody was like, uh, I was, the last level 49 video I did on this rogue, somebody was like, can you stop hitting a uh, kidney shot and just hit it evis eviscerate? I'm like, okay. Well, one, you know, I'm not going to stop hitting kidney shot. I love kidney shot. I love stunning people in place and just watching them not be able to do nothing. That's what I do. You feel me? I'm a rogue, baby. Dang. I said, join your fast as fuck. Oh, uh, that was gonna be me. I didn't even get to do nothing. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So you just gonna watch this many minutes of the video and you ain't even gonna hit the subscribe button? That's crazy to me. So 
subscribe right now, man. Let's get back into the video. But yeah, I'm like, maybe, maybe I will. It depends. I love stun locking people. My thing, you gotta understand. So I've been playing the wrong for rogue for a long minute. I'm not used to playing rogues this low level, you feel me? And sometimes they health just don't fall low enough for me to do it. Or they get saved by paladins, as we just witnessed there. And I need to go, because I almost died. And that, my good folks, why I stun a lot. You know what I'm saying? Even if I am thoroughly overgeared, overgearing everybody, he just survived. It's, I mean, would it have made a difference? I don't think it would have made a difference. He got saved by a paladin, so regardless, he was going to survive. But yeah, it, 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 Dragonflight's PvP is very healthy. I'm loving it. I'm liking it. No freaking extra little this, that, and this, and that, and things we got to do. Like I thought Shadowlands was going to be popping, but then I realized it wasn't. It, huh? Oh no. What the frick was. What was that? What was that? This man threw a flare directly at me. Um, I got nothing. I have nothing. I got blind, but that's not gonna work. I just need to keep running in circles until I can escape combat. The fuck was that cheating crap, man? Huh? Just directly put a flare on me, son. Did I have the uh, arrow joint and I didn't realize it? Did I have that over me? I think I may have had that over me. Did I? Shoot, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I had it over me afterwards. I don't know if I had it on me beforehand. They keep grabbing our flag when nobody grabbing a flag. Come on, man. I gotta be a flag runner and a killer. I like running flags. I also need to go back and check out... Uh, the dude that made the single player project here, <clears throat> he told me to check out this uh this one joint, but I kind of forgot. I do not remember what it was, and I don't remember what video he left that on. I need to go back and find out, cause I want I do I do want to see what it's about. It seemed uh, pretty interesting. <clears throat> pretty interesting. Okay. Yes, I need you to slow down, baby. And you're moving too fast, you know what I mean? Dang flag, boy. And yeah, I, I still want to check that out. It seemed like they had a lot of cool little knick-knack paddywhacks. Oh my goodness, somebody grabbed a flag. That dog it. Hey, this is all up to me then, huh? <clears throat> but yeah, I, want, I need to check that out. Yeah, that Dragonflight PvP is smooth, and we got the Torrential Time Wave, so that means everything gonna be time walking. Right now is Wrath Lynch King time walking, which is absolutely lovely. I love Wrath Lynch King dungeons. They're so easy, so smooth, so nostalgic. You know what I'm saying? There's very little Wrath Lynch King dungeons I dislike. Actually, I don't think there's any Wrath Lynch King dungeons I dislike. I think it's like I like TBC. I don't dislike any TBC dungeon. Not a single one. They're all great to me. Every single one of them. I have not an issue with any TBC dungeon. And now that I'm really thinking about it, I don't think I have a single issue with any uh, Wrath Lynch King dungeon. Oh, come on, man. Why are they still running up that way? I'm about to get jumped down here. These, these, uh, these fucking, these bots be real quick to pull up on you when you get the flag. They don't, they don't pull up on nothing. Oh, it's all good anyways. Go behind me. How the fuck you charge me from that far? What? <laughs> now, as a long time warrior player, he was definitely out of range to charge. And I got the boot speed on, right? I do not. Yes, I do. Going on around here, huh? I got the boot speed. He still caught up to me somehow. It's all good. Um, yeah, it was it, very healthy, very healthy, good fun. And because of torrential time ways, uh, leveling is going to be. Huh? Oh, that was a rogue. I'm gonna say, where the fuck he come from? 
uh, leveling is going to be buttery smooth, in which it already has been. So as at the time of recording this, I've taken Jadem from level 63 to 68 already. Raimundo is level 67, so getting her to 70 is going to be no issue. Everybody who's 60, I'm going to be leveling up all my 60s. And then I'll go toward the lower levels after because the apparently, uh, I didn't know, but time walking is for 60 and above. I thought it was 50 and above, but you know, I guess they decided to change that for whatever reason. Who knows why? All right, boom. This is a guaranteed win now. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm going to be selling this trinket after this. This, my good folks, is why I stun lock. Because if you just uh, tossing out a bunch of attacks, you get bullcrap like that, especially when you got useless trinkets. I get froze in place and my kill gets stolen. I'm about to say. Kill my dang kill, man. Uh, do I have the title charm on me? Duh, duh. Ain't got no title charm. Ain't got no bombs. Coming out of stealth with that big boy damage. I was not even remotely close enough to trigger that, but somehow I did. Unless the dang dog triggered it. It might have been the dog. God dang dog. You not enough energy, hmm? Get him out of here. Target too close. Boomerang. <laughs> that boomerang trinket is great. Hit a fool with a quick stun. Hit a fool with a quick stun, baby. Oh no. Really? Get that guy! Get that guy! Oh, that crap off me, man. Got a frickin' torn to murder. I'm gonna run, run away with my flag, boy. I'm tired of you. Oh, I use that, but it's all good. You, you, you all up on me, man. Get, get, get gone, baby. Get gone. You know what I'm saying? Level 49, baby, level 49. Rogue, I'm untouchable. You know what I'm saying? Rogues are just great. Simple as that. I had to get on. I had to get on some lobies today. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I'm a little crunch. I'm, I'm, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch here. I woke up late, so I'm like, let me hop on a number number one. Let me get on a low level. That'll be a uh, easy, fast recording. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I woke up late. I, I overslept a little bit because uh, the amount of noise that was being made woke me up early. When I had God, they be snatching them flags fast as fuck. Woke up way earlier than I wanted to, so I'm like, man, forget that. I'm not about to be recording tired, so I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> I'm going back to sleep, baby. That's exactly what I did. Got me a good extra bit of sleep. So I was a little, a little bit of an hour late. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A little bit of an hour late. But one of these days I'll get to move again. Warriors fearing me and crap. <clears throat> Where's my backup? How the fuck am I out here by myself? I think my blind ain't working. So I'm about to die to a freaking bird because it's... Oh my goodness. Really? I, I, why does this, why does that happen? I could have blinded the bird and easily got the fuck out of there, but no. Blind just decides to stop working. I'm about to find a, uh, another joint, because that crap is annoying. I, at, at, for no reason should I have died there. Zero reason I should have taken a death there. But I couldn't blind the bird, because my dang blind is just to be decides, you know, one moment it one works, next moment it doesn't. got the flag uh but yeah i was a little late on time i'm like let me hop on a lobby let me hop on a single player project and then get on a little low level you know what i'm saying make things nice and smooth because uh time is moving a little fast here waking up so dang late i would uh 
I don't. I, I would prefer not to be working a a, a nine to ten hour day today. <laughs> Saying a lot of people don't realize that this stuff is a little long sometimes. Because I woke up late, that means I'll be recording, working a little longer than I would like. Which ain't too bad because after all, I am just sitting here recording a video of me doing PvP. But man. Booty really starts to hurt when you're sitting there for 10 hours. Also, not healthy. Not healthy at all. I still gotta edit and stuff and all that. Much rather be doing that than a dang desk job, though, so trust me, it ain't no full on complaint. It's a little uncomfortable, a little unhealthy to be sitting there for 10 hours. Or well, if I can, some low level PvP will easily. Hey! Man, work. Wait, you still got our flag? i to make it out too. I, I need to get to him actually because. Oh! You're not winning this through, through flags. That's for sure. What's going on here? Rob that real quick. <laughs> Let me rob that real quick. You feel me? Flag here. Flag? You show sure is. Yeah, come on, man. So I'm like, let me get on a lobby. Do some lobby stuff. Because what I want to do is I want to get uh, finished leveling up my characters. I can start uh, up on that Dragonflight PvP because for the longest time I've been telling y'all I'm going to get my characters to 70. And uh, <laughs> the only character who's still level 70 is, is my Evoker, Tia. Which is indeed a part of the legendary clan. I have not made her her own little special video yet. Pretty hard to do on Dragonflight due to the restrictions. I don't have access to 27 accounts. <laughs> so I could do a crazy video like I did for Barney. <clears throat> where I had all my characters lined up and she was walking down the line. Accepting her invitation to the legendary clan. I ain't, I ain't got that capabil capability. Uh on Dragonflight due to not having access to 27 accounts and one of each of my characters a bit harder to make happen but I will try I will figure something out okay that's the second time I've been caught out of stealth now I guess this is the new thing for these uh, hunters is, is catching me out of stealth now, I'm not dying again I that that's some bullcrap. I'm getting spotted out of stealth out of nowhere. Not doing that, bro. Got our dang flag, and they write that. Oh my goodness. These, these bots be nasty as fuck when you pick up the flag. As soon as they get the flag, now I'm gonna have to run a flag again. They're on you in like two seconds flat, but they don't be on each other. I don't. I'm gonna have to run a flag. I'm gonna lose. Move. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like a special video idea that I can do for her since I am I have way less access to characters And I can't remake her on the older joints because the evoker don't exist and the the my only my newest private server is a Shadowlands joint. I don't have a, a Dragonflight joint I've been trying to find one but That's no easy task easier said than done you know? Oh Best I got is Shadowlands, which obviously has n I, Yo, why is there so many freaking hunters, man? I can't get no dang where. I'm, I'm sick of hunters. I love hunters, but I'm sick of hunters. He got the flag again. I'm not losing. I ain't got no potions on me neither. Gracious. All these dang hunters. I need to make me a level 49 hunter. Hurt. Here's where I go. Getting shot at. Walk one way, I'm getting shot at. I walk another way, they shooting at me still, baby. But I need to figure out a way to uh, get a dang evoker so I can um do the specialty video, the acceptance speech, the welcome to legendary clan. You know what I'm saying, just like I did for. 
uh, Barney. Because that is my best marksman hunter. That's the best marksman hunter I ever had. Okay. Well, it's the only marksman hunter I ever had either, uh, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Every hunter I've ever made has always been Beastmaster. Gadolin, the first hunter I ever made, Beastmaster. Or being followed. Gadolin was Beastmaster, that's the first hunter I, hunter I ever made. And any hunter I ever made after him, whether it was a trial character or an actual hunter, was also Beastmaster. Then say a Cassie came around, who was another Beastmaster hunter. Oh no, I'm jumping the gun like crazy. Uh, Mickey Malone, which was a Warjin hunter I had. He was Beast Master. He he had two dogs. Then DJ Storm, that's my uh, that's my Beast Lord hunter. So she tames all the gargantuan beasts. So that's your, your cleft hoofs, your uh, all, all your giant freaking hoofed uh creatures. So elks, um, I said hooves and I said elk. Elks don't have hooves. Elephants do not have hooves. What I meant to say was all creatures that are just behemoths. So elks, cleft hoofs, kodos. That's DJ, what's her name? DJ Storm? Why did I name her DJ Storm? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I got a freaking a priest named DJ Hunter. Why did I name her DJ Hunter? I don't, oh no. DJ Hunter was a character I made off of the lady from Quake 3, Hunter. Her name is Hunter. And then I had made a character whose name was DJ Hunter, it was an Indian woman who was a, had a fairly large stature, but she was a DJ, and her name was DJ Hunter. I remember that now, yeah. So it was a character I created from another game based off of Hunter from uh, Quake 3. I just got robbed because all of a sudden I couldn't land a hit no more, and this is why I stunned, folks. I was trying to explain to that guy, he was like, why do you stun? That's why I stunned, because crap like that, all of a sudden, my character ain't want to land a dang hit no more. I just got freaking robbed by a mage. I'm about to, I need to make a horty, a level 49 horty, so I can start killing people. <laughs> this is always why I played both horty and alliance. When I'm annoyed by alliance, I hop on horty. When I'm annoyed by horty, I hop on alliance. I got that freaking, I got that, that traitor blood, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that's where the name DJ Hunter comes from. I remember that. It was uh, at the time I had got back into playing Quick Three, and Hunter became my favorite character to use. Uh, and then I made a character who was an Indian lady who was a DJ. Uh, and her name was DJ Hunter. And then I made her through Warcraft, although she doesn't look like the actual character I created, which. Like I said, it was an Indian woman, so darker skin, uh, long brown hair, as where DJ Hunter in the game is a pale white lady with short black hair. <laughs> but I, I, it was just the name. I wanted a level 20 twink priest, so the best, that, that, that was where, that was the idea. I'm like, I don't know what to name this for, so I'm just gonna name her DJ Hunter. Cause why not? You got a stun lock too for freaking big tanky fools like that. Freaking protection paladins. You're doing too much. To, uh, they be eating too much. God, that crap hit hard. Can't swing. The fuck? That bull crap away from me. Uh, and then I got I got uh Exilus who tames. Uh, he's a. Fucking filth. I got a dang flag carrier to kill, baby. You can't even land a hit on me. What we gonna do? Yeah. Huh? Hold on, fucking boomerang at you. <laughs> Disarmed, loser. Look at all the dodging. I'm gone. On with that, man. Didn't even pop invasion, just dodging for no reason. This is why I stun people. You throw out a whole eviscerate dodge and you're dead because now you got nothing left. Why I stun? To that guy who was saying, could you just stop stunning? Uh, could you just stop stunning and just hit eviscerate? That's why I hit it. That's why I stun because it increases my defense. You got to remember, all right, folks. You got to remember for the past 
18 years of my pl of playing this game, the main character I've played is a rogue who I've always played heavily defensive. That being Jadem. All right. So when you see me doing things at a low level that is too defensive and not offensive enough, you gotta remember, folks. Talking to a man who's been playing a, def a defense build uh, rogue for the past 18 years. <laughs> And really started getting into PvP if in the past like 16 what was that uh, Wrath? No, not Wrath Lynch King. Uh, late TBC, early Wrath Lynch King. You gotta understand why I do certain things the way I do certain things. Though I do play certain characters aggressively, the main character I've been playing for the past who knows how long. Or no, let's go with main two. Is an arms warrior and a and a and a, and a subtlety slash combat rogue. Combat later on. Subtlety in the beginning. Uh, I stopped playing subtlety mostly when they turned it into a dagger spec. I was kind of confused on why they did that. I'm like, it's been fucking. I mean, it's kind of always been a dagger spec, but you could you could versatile it. Then they made it to where it's strictly dagger. I was pretty disappointed. I'm like, well, combat it is. In which combat turned out to be a very healthy spec, so it didn't bother me too. Then I just ended up making more subtlety char role characters anyways. But Raimundo and Jadam, my two oldest characters. I have always played them heavily defensive. So when you see me stunning and, and being overly defensive, even at low levels, you gotta understand it, it's ingrained in my brain to be a defensive player. I cannot leave for some reason, so I guess we'll do the outro right here. <laughs> Won't let me leave. I don't. Know. Okay, that's because my game just crashed. Uh, that's a first in a long time. But anyways. Y'all, it has been your boy, Jadon Legendary. If you enjoyed this video, that's good. If you haven't enjoyed if you didn't enjoy this video, you're crazy, man. Who doesn't enjoy lovely level 49 stuff? Yo, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell. Share with your people. Join the Legendary Clan. Support the channel. Become legendary. I'm out.